Hi there, Mark Sabatella here. In this video, I want to talk about the doubling of uh, second inversion triads. In particular, I'm going to talk about what we call the cadential 6-4 chord, which is a second inversion triad that occurs in the context of a cadence. It occurs the 1-6-4 chord immediately before a 5 chord. It's a very common sound, and here is that at the end of the hymn, Abide With Me. We're going to have uh, this melody with that bass line. And I'm concerned with how we're going to fill in those inner voices, what doubling we're going to give that 6-4 chord. Because there's, there's some options here, right? I could fill it in by putting in the doubled uh, root, which is the standard doubling of most chords. Or I could actually double that, uh, that G, right? Or I could double the bass note, the B flat here, the fifth. <clears throat> Which of these do you think is going to be the most common? Well, the way uh, we typically are going to decide this is by looking ahead at the next chord and seeing what's going to make us the happiest there. Well, the next chord, that five chord, um, here, I think there's maybe less doubt. We're going to want to double the root. We usually double roots of chords, right? So if I'm going to want to have that root B flat doubled on the five chord, why not go ahead and double that B flat also on the one six four chord? That way we get to keep it as a common tone in both voices and then only move the other voices. And these two voices both get to keep the B flat. So that is in fact the most common uh, doubling. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter that here. I'm going to enter myself an E flat and a D and then back in the bottom voice it'll be a B flat and a B flat. So this allows those common tones to be held in both voices. Now do we always want to hold common tones in all voices? Does that get a little boring? Well the thing to know about this chord here, this cadential 6-4 chord, is some people would say it's not even a 1 chord. Some people would say that's not a 1 chord. It's just a 5 chord with some non-chord tones in it. Some people would say that's a B-flat chord that just happens to have some non-chord tones in it that move. That's another analysis you sometimes see for this. And so that's another reason to just keep that B-flat, the common tone, uh, it's going to become the root of the chord. So that is the most common doubling for these second inversion chords. It's the bass note that we're going to double because it's going to become the root. Even if that five chord actually ends up being a seventh chord, which is actually going to be pretty common, we can do that. We can just take that tenor voice and move it down. And finally resolve it. So that tenor voice, instead of holding on to the B flat, can step down to the seventh, but that's also really good voice leading. So the general rule of thumb here is when we have these second inversion triads, especially these cadential 6-4 chords, we're going to typically double that bass note, double the fifth of the chord, because it's going to become the root of the next chord. I don't like to have to think of that as a separate rule, a rule that says double the fifth on 6-4 chords. That feels arbitrary. I like to understand the reasons why we might do things a particular way, and I think looking at it this way in terms of what's going to happen, in terms of being able to hold that common tone, looking at it that way gives us a reason to want to double that fifth. 